Hey everyone, Kevin the Switch Up here at Groovy Old Records, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite, favorite record labels. How often do we talk about record labels, right? I love the Star Day record label, and the Star Day record label, they, they, they're from Texas, right? And in the 50s, 60s, and even into the 70s, they, they made a lot of old hillbilly records. They, that's what their specialty was, hillbilly, rockabilly, bluegrass, you know, that kind of, that kind of uh, old timey, <laughs> I don't know, would you call it old timey back then? You wouldn't, but it's that kind of music they specialized in. And they have they have an absolutely wonderful catalog. And, and the story's interesting too with Star Day. So the, the, it was founded by Papa Daly in, in 1952. And, um, you know, his goal, one of the things that he did is he recognized that people who listen to this music, hillbilly music, they didn't buy 45s, right? That was kind of a rock and roll thing. They bought albums, and what he did is that him and this company started, they just cranked them out, and they're good. They are good records. I like the Stardate records. I like their catalog. I like the, the quality of the sound, too, with the Stardate records. And then um, I think in 1968, they bought King Records, right? King was another country hillbilly record label, and then Stardate bought them, and they, so I have several uh, Stardate King albums. And then, of course, Star Day is, is later bought by Gusto Records, I think, in the 70s. And then the Gusto Records, they re-released re the whole uh, Star Day catalog, right, under the Star Day Gusto Record label. So anyways, that's kind of the story. I don't know what they're doing today. I should maybe... <laughs> you think I would have looked that up, right? I still around. I assume that there's no Star Day Records anymore. It's a shame. It was a beautiful company, a beautiful record. So I'm going to go then, I'm gonna go through my list here by by labels. So this is, um, so Justin Tubb, right? And this is the, this is the Star Day label. So you know, can we see that? So that's the, that's the original uh, a Star Day record label. So I've got on that, I've got the Justin Tubb and I've got um, <clears throat> Cowboy Copas. And who doesn't love Cowboy Copas? He's awesome. And you see, he's got that, um, the, the Star Day, that's the kind of the first Star Day record label. And I got this one here is, uh, here's another Cowboy Copas at the, the Grand Finale, at the Grand Old Opry, and it's High Fidelity. These are all mono records. I'm sorry, High Fidelity. <laughs> and then the next group I have are these ones over here. These are, um, these are kind of the more modern Star, star Day levels, labels. Um, you can see they've got the Eagle up there, and this is uh, Dottie West and uh, Melvin Montgomery. Uh, Queens of Country Music. It's a good record. It's a good record. It sounds good too. Um, here, this is a great one. This is a, a little Roy Wiggins and his folks, and they're playing on, 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 on the Star Day records, and it's an absolutely brilliant record. And who, I bought this used so for a dollar, so whoever had this record kept it immaculate. This absolutely sounds brilliant. Brilliant. And again, too, this this is high fidelity. It's not. We're not into the stereo world yet. And that's Little Wiggins. This is a great album too. And then this other one here is, oh, Red Sovine, Giddy Up, Giddy, Giddy, Giddy Up Go. And we all know Red Sovine was a, a famous uh, country singer, right? And here, that's the label for that one. So, that's again, a beautiful, great a star day. And I love this record. I mean, it just, it's, it's just old country and there's nothing pretentious about it. It's raw and it's wonderful. And I love these old hillbilly records. So, here's the next group of, um, the next group of labels I have are these ones with Star Day and the guitar in the middle. Well, that's pretty cool. So this is uh, Red Sovine, right? Sunday, this is uh, country gospel music with Red Sovine. It's a nice record. I like it. I like it. And this one I thought was kind of funny. This is uh, Give Me 40 Acres, the, the, the Willis Brothers. I'm, I'm not familiar with the Willis Brothers, but I like this record, though. So I haven't done any kind of bi biographical information on the Willis Brothers. But actually, the cover's pretty cool. Look at the cover. It's the, the Willis brothers are hanging off their truck, trying to help this stranded motorist. Who's this, you know, it's the it's the 50s, right? Early 60s, she's wearing a, the, the thing on her. <laughs> the scarf on her, the babushka or whatever it's called, right? It's crazy. It's so, it's so dated. It's so corny and so wonderful and so great. But anyways, the next group I have here, going over here. These are, these are uh, uh, in 1975 when Stardate was bought by Gusto and they re-released the catalog. So these are the Stardate Gusto records and these are from the 70s, this is 75. And, and this is Cowboy Copas, right? This is, this is a great record. Um, another one is, um, so here's uh, 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 another one, the best of the Delmore brothers. I, you know, I have the Stanley brothers too. 
I wonder why I did, why did I put that record with this? I don't know. I'm gonna go back to my catalog and see where it is. Again, another great, and this is the Stardate Gusto. Stardate Gusto record label. So absolutely brilliant. If you guys happen to find, if you love Hillbilly Records, if you're like me, the Switch Hippie loves the Hillbilly Records, right? Um, look for anything on Stardate, Stardate Gusto, Stardate King, even get a, a King Records or two. I've got a, some of those. And it's just, it's like, it's just fun, interesting, well-played, very raw sounding, old hillbilly records. And if, if that's what it is, I'm there. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Switch Hippie. I'll see you guys on our next episode of uh, uh, Rescue from the Bargain Bin whenever I whenever I go uh, dump, uh, dumpster diving again. Of course, the problem is I've got so many records. <laughs> I'm trying to clean them up, you know, and I'm really behind. So before I go, uh, before I go to the bargain bin and get off the, <laughs> get rid of the crap that I have, right? <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Talk to you later.